Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is chapter two of Owl Diaries, Eva and the New Owl. Chapter two, The Owl Times. Friday. School was so much fun tonight, diary. Mrs. Featherbottom told us about a new project we'll be working on this week. We are going to create a class newspaper called the Owl Times. Everyone will have a special job. Carlos, cartoonist. Zach, weather reporter. Macy, editor. Lily, sports reporter. Sue, fashion writer. Zara, photographer. Jacob, travel writer. George, designer. Lucy, crossword puzzle writer. I chose news reporter. It was the perfect job for me. I love asking questions and I love writing. Everyone was excited about their jobs, especially Zara. She started taking photos right away. Click, 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 click. The first piece of news I heard was from Mrs. Featherbottom. There will be a contest this week. Principal Eggmington will choose the best forest drawing. The winning drawing will be published in our newspaper and the winner will win two movie tickets to Wingarella. Wow! I hope I win, Diary. I give my extra ticket to Lucy so we could see Wingarella together. At recess, I talked to my classmates and kept my ears open for more news. Here's what I found out. George has a new hat. Kiera and her family are on vacation in Hootalulu. Sue's mom is designing a dress for famous actress Fifi Flyaway. Macy's pet frog, Wilbur, won Best in Show last weekend. This news was all exciting, but I heard the best news after recess. A new owl will be joining our class on Monday. Her name is Haley Fluffington. This was flaptastic news. Everyone spent the rest of the day talking about the new owl. Lucy and I were both excited to meet Haley. I can't wait to show her around. I can't wait to find out her favorite color. Now, I must get to bed. Good day. End of chapter two. We'll see you back here very, very soon. Bye-bye.